intravascular pressure monitoring setup with the True Wave transducer. Bedside measurement of intravascular pressures is a basic tool in the care of the critically ill patient. The following animation demonstrates best practice in the setup of the True Wave disposable pressure transducer. Prepare the True Wave transducer using the following six steps. Step 1. Using aseptic technique, remove the transducer kit from the sterile packaging and ensure all connections are secure. Step 2. Insert the True Wave transducer into a mounting back plate that is secured on an IV pole. Step 3. De-air the IV bag and prime the True Wave system. Invert the normal saline IV bag so air raises to the base of the bag. Anticoagulation per institutional policy. Spike the IV bag with a fluid administration set, keeping the drip chamber upright. Open the roller clamp on the IV set. Open the vent port by turning the stopcock toward the patient's pressure tubing and away from the transducer while leaving the vented cap in place. While keeping the IV bag inverted, gently squeeze air out of the bag with one hand while pulling the snap tab flush device with the other hand until air is emptied from the IV bag and the drip chamber is filled at least halfway. Per institutional policy. Step 4. Gravity prime the true wave system. Insert the IV bag into a pressure infuser bag and hang on an IV pole. Do not inflate. Pull the snap tab flush device to deliver the flush solution through the true wave transducer and out through the vent port's vented cap. Remove all air bubbles. Close the vent port by turning the stopcock towards the cap. Holding the pressure tubing in an upright 45 degree angle Pull the snap tab to flush the remaining part of the line through the end of the tubing. Step 5. Fast flush the True Wave transducer system. Pressurize the IV flush solution bag to 300 millimeters of mercury. Pull the snap tab to flush the system under pressure while tapping on the tubing and stopcocks to remove any residual bubbles. After removal of any residual bubbles, Connect the True Wave transducer to the bedside physiologic monitor for calibration. Step 6. Replace all the opaque vented caps on the side ports of the system stopcocks with non-vented caps. Now that we have completed priming the system, we will need to calibrate the True Wave transducer with the bedside physiologic monitor. Use the following eight steps. Step 1. Connect the True Wave transducer's white connecting cable to the Edwards True Wave reusable pressure cable appropriate for the bedside monitor being used. Then connect the opposite end of the reusable cable to the appropriate pressure channel on the bedside monitor. Step 2. For intravascular pressure monitoring, level the transducer to the patient's phlebostatic axis which can be found at the midpoint between the anterior and posterior chest wall at the fourth intercostal space. Note, it's important to maintain the level of the transducer with the phlebostatic axis at all times while monitoring to ensure accurate pressure readings. The true wave transducer must be zeroed to remove the effects of atmospheric pressure. Open the stopcock above the transducer to atmospheric air by turning the stopcock toward the patient's pressure tubing and away from the True Wave transducer, then remove the non-vented cap. Perform this maneuver while maintaining sterility of the cap and stopcock port. Step 4. Select the zero function on the bedside monitor and confirm that the bedside monitor's pressure channel waveform and numeric value display zero. Step 5. Close the stopcock on the True Wave transducer toward the vent port and then return the non-vented cap. Step 6. If not already connected, 
Connect the true wave pressure tubing to the patient's catheter. Aspirate the line to assure no residual bubbles remain, as well as confirming patency of the catheter. Then flush the system of any residual blood. Step 7. Confirm the appropriate pressure wave form and numeric values are present. Perform a square wave test to assess the frequency response of the system. Confirm the pressure channel has the appropriate label, scale, alarm settings, and color coding for physiologic pressure being measured. The True Wave Disposable Pressure Transducer is designed with the clinician in mind, from its ergonomic profile that fits in the palm of your hand to its cable connector that attaches and disconnects easily. The True Wave Disposable Pressure Transducer provides high waveform accuracy and product reliability through a host of advanced design features. True Wave Disposable Pressure Transducers can also be paired with VAMP kits that's venous arterial blood management protection system for a complete and reliable closed, needless blood sampling system with accurate pressure readings in one complementary unit. At Edwards Life Sciences, everything we do is focused on providing the clear information you need, how you need it, in the moments you need it most.